Hi, and welcome back to Literacy Volunteers of Laredo's Holiday Camp 2020. I want to give a special thank you to our sponsor, Dollar General Literacy Foundation. Um, today, we are going to learn how to make a holiday card. Um, now, I'm going to give you some examples, but you can be as creative as you want, but I want to sh kind of show you how pop-up cards work. Okay, so let me go over some of the materials you're going to need. You're going to need some white paint. You're going to need some bubble wrap. Okay, I've already kind of painted on that, so just clear bubble wrap. Um, you're going to need a paintbrush, of course, because we're going to be painting a little bit. Um, because if we look at our card, okay, this is what we're going to be going for. We're going to be going for um, like some snowfall in the background of our card. Okay, so you're going to need two sheets of dark blue cardstock or construction paper, either one. Um, but you also need a variety of other construction paper colors too because you never know, your creativity may want you to have other types of colors uh, for what we're going to do. Um, also, you can use um, white computer paper um, and I actually have some white cardstock too. I really like to use cardstock when it comes to making cards because um, it's stiffer than just regular paper. Um, and I can work quickly and not worry about tearing it up or anything. But again, if you don't have these particular types of paper, don't worry. You can always use computer paper to do anything that we're going to be doing in our holiday camp if it's using construction paper or cardstock. Okay? All right. So let's get started. First things first, we need to establish our background. Oh, wait, there's a couple more supplies you're going to need. A glue stick, scissors, I always have a hole puncher close by. I picked this one up at HEB for like 99 cents. It wasn't very much at all. But also, I like to have markers on hand too whenever I'm making um, uh, cards as well. But you'll see why, you know, some of the materials are, are you know, um, you're able to kind of use a variety of different things that you have on hand. Um, so if you don't have markers, maybe you have crayons or you have color pencils or um, just a regular pen or a pencil would work too. Okay, so you can modify this any, any way you want to. All right, so let me continue now. We're going to paint our background on this blue paper. All right, now we're gonna have to fill up both blue paper. Okay, and I'll explain why here in just a moment. Now, I also have to be kind of careful because it's acrylic paint and I really don't want to get this all over the place. But you're just going to paint the textured side and you can water it down if you want to and then just kind of press it down. What you're doing is you're just kind of stamping it because I'm going to make it kind of look like snowfall. Okay, and so there's one of them, and I'm just going to set that aside because remember, I got to be letting it dry. And then I'm going to also do the other one as well. And I'm just doing it on one side. And if I don't want it to, to be so bright white, like I said, I can water it down and not worry so much about it being, you know, like really, really bright. But I kind of like it right. You know, and I can get two pretty good stamps out of that. But I want to, for this one, go ahead and cover up the whole edge. So what I mean by that is this outer edge of the blue paper right here. Okay, I want to really cover that up. So this project is geared more towards those of you that um, might be in middle school. So, um, but I'm not saying those of you that are in elementary school, you can't do this, you could. It's just that uh, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated than what we did last time with our other projects. Just a little bit. So I've got that really filled up kind of nice, right? And again, I'm just going to set that off to the side and let it dry. Now, one thing you should always do, you guys, is rinse your brush, okay? Rinse your brush out really well. Um, 
I forgot my paper towel. Paper towels are always good to have on hand, so let me just grab that. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I wasn't completely prepared, was I? You always want to make sure that you rinse your brushes. Okay, and you can just kind of work it around in that water and then dab it and then later on you can take it to the sink and rinse it out better. Now also because my paper towel is wet, I'm going to wipe up some of this paint too. If you have washable paint, it's even better, but this is acrylic, so I want to get it up pretty quick. All right, and so I'm done with this part. I am going to go ahead and set these aside. Just gonna get them out of my way. I don't even need the paint anymore. All right, now I have a little bit more room to work. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make like these little trees. Now that your tree shapes are gonna vary on what you wanna do, what your school level or, or what your age level is. Um, what kind of materials you have on hand. Um, I play around with all sorts of little designs. I have so much fun making these little things. And um, this is cardstock. This is uh, green construction paper. So, you know, again, it just varies on what you have. But I am want, I'm wanting to save a little bit of time. But if you need to pause the video because you wanna make like a special pattern on your tree, by all means, certainly pause this, okay? Um, but if you just wanna do a simple triangle, that's fine too, okay? So you just take your green paper, you fold it in half because you wanna keep your symmetry, right? And you literally are just gonna cut out that wedge. Now you can't make your tree too big though because when your card folds, you need to be able to um, not see the top of your tree. Because see what happens when it starts to fold? Do you see how it moves up? I need to be able to close my card and not worry about the top of the tree like sticking out of the card. So that is why, you know, you got to make it fairly small. You can't make it too big. Not with this type of card. Okay, so something about like that, you know, in comparison to my hands, you know, that's pretty good. All right, then you can take the um, uh, cardstock that you have or your computer paper. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and use the computer paper and I'm going to do little squiggles. Nothing major, just kind of like do some little wiggle lines. Okay, because this is going to be my trim. And now, if you don't want white trim, you know, where it looks like snow, you want it to actually look like tinsel, you can use a different color. So it's really not that big a deal. Okay, so I have something like that. And then I'm just going to cut. And they all fall in there. Okay. So I'm going to take my glue stick and then glue those across. And at an angle and some spots. So I have something that looks like that. Okay, you can see I'm not being real particular. I'm not cutting out that, you know, where it's completely even yet. I'm just laying it in there uh, fairly quickly. And then after I get them glued on in there, I can go cut and trim this part off. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Nothing major. Okay, so I have that. So it looks all nice and clean. Then I also had cut out a little star. I actually have like these really cool punches. Some of you guys may have some punches, but if you don't, don't worry. You can always just draw out a star and you can cut it. And I'm going to glue that onto the top. Sorry, I'm throwing the glue around. Just glue that onto the top like that. Okay, and I'll just kind of set that off to the side. Now I'm going to want to create this little snowman as well. And so I am not really good at um, circles. I think I've mentioned this before, right? 
So what I'm going to do is take my glue stick. It's fairly big. I'm going to take the glue stick and if I have a pencil, it would be better, but whatever I have to mark with is fine. This should be okay. And I'll go ahead and trace three actually. So I'm going to do this three times and they're going to be fairly spaced out. Just a little bit, not a lot, but just a little. Because I'm going to use this as kind of like a stencil. Okay, so I have three, three circles from my glue stick. And then I'm going to fold it because I use the marker. I don't want to see the markers. So I'm going to use this as a guide, but I don't want to see the marker on the computer paper. But I have to create three different sizes. So even though I used only one circle, I can use that as a guide. So here I have this one circle. If I want to make it bigger, I just go on the outside of my circle. I know I'm going kind of fast, but that's because we, we need to try to keep these videos you know, uh, roughly about 20, 25 minutes. We don't want to get larger than that, okay? So what I did right there, you can see, okay? I went on the outside of the circle, but I'm going to use the circle that was on the back side because then, because if I turn this over, you can see that I, I can also see the marker there. I don't want to see that, okay? So then this next one, I can actually cut around what I had traced the actual size of the uh, glue stick cap. So you can see here, right? I just cut right there. And so that one's gonna go there. And then the third one I have, I'm gonna go on the inside part of that uh, marker that I drew just so the head's a little bit smaller. Okay, so that way I have the three different shapes, but I only had to use one circle to create a uh, guide for myself. Okay, and so then I'm going to glue all those together like I would like a regular snowman. So now I've got my little snowman all glued up, right? But I can create my snowman any way I want to. I could give him little twiggy arms. Um, and if that's the case, then I would use my brown construction paper and cut out a couple of little, little stick arms. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut out a couple little stick arms just for fun. I'm going to show you a little trick I like to do too. I go ahead and I cut it out long because I'm going to glue it behind him like that. But you can see it just kind of comes straight across instead of it going straight across. I'm going to go ahead and just twist it a little bit. All I do is just bend it. And then on the back side of my snowman, I can then glue this into place. If I want his arms to be up or if I want them to be down, however I want them. This one looks like he's screaming for help already. And we haven't even done very much, right? Okay. I can cut them shorter if I want to. I'll leave them there for now. Then um, I wanted to put a little top hat on my snowman. So what you can see here, so do my little snowman top hat. Or I could put a scarf on him. I can do um, a cap. Again, it's up to you, whatever you want to do, because he's your snowman. So I'm just going to cut out a little top hat give the top hat a little character. 
I like to do like a little little curving at the bottom of the hat just so when it fits on the head it looks like it's you know got a little bit of roundness to it of course then i'm going to glue that into place now if i have a hole punch i could go in and do my little hole punch um to do like the little buttons but i have a marker i could just go ahead and do that too so with my marker i'm going to give him his little carrot nose give him some I give him some blue eyes and then I'm going to do the little black smile give him like a little smile make him look really happy you know and then maybe give him a little bit of an eyelid or something okay so I gave him his little face Let's see if I can come up here so y'all can see a little better here we go. Okay. And then I'm going to put like the little buttons on the front of him like that. Okay. Now, um, I'm actually going to have him laying a little flat on the bottom of the card. So I'm just going to cut that part so it looks like he's setting down more. See? So it's not so rounded. All right. So I have my tree and I have my little snowman. And I'm going to actually create another little tree. Um, or I could use this one. Okay, we'll just go ahead and use this one. It's a little different, but that's okay. Okay, because if you can see, you know, I have a smaller tree here. And even though I have these that are already cut the same size, if I want it to be just a little bit smaller to make it look like it sits in the back, all I have to do is just cut it down like this. That's it. So then it can become a, a smaller tree. Okay. But I need to show you guys how to go about doing the folding part on the inside. Let's see if this is dry. Yeah, that feels pretty good actually. So let me clear off some of this mess. Just kind of set it off to the side a little bit. Just so y'all can see what I'm doing. Now, one of these is going to be the actual card itself. So it will be on the outside part. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold that in half. Okay, that's going to be the outside. So when I open it up, it'll be like this. So I'm going to take my, my other card stock and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. I mean, just a little bit smaller. Okay, by layering up the second sheet and my white cardstock, I am going to trim off some of the excess. So I create like an inside border on my card. Now, like I said, if you guys need to pause this because I'm going too fast, because I am going pretty quick, actually, um, y'all feel free to pause it, okay? All I did was I, I wanted to, to clear that off just a little bit better, okay? So now I'm going to take um, this and fold it in half long ways. Fold that in half like so, okay, like that. Okay, but I'm actually going to cut it. So I'm going to cut half of that sheet. And that way, if I want, I could keep the other half to make another card here in a little bit. And I have to go ahead and glue that on this half right here. I need to glue that into place now because I'm going to um, have to cut into it with the white to get those little areas to pop up. So we'll put that into place. Like I said, I know I'm going fast, you guys, but if you need to pause this, please do so. Okay. 
And I got a little bit of a crooked edge, so I think I'll just trim that down also. Just so it looks a little cleaner. Okay, so it's more like this. All right. And I'm going to fold that in half. Okay. Mm, I think I can leave it not if you're going to trim it just a little bit, just so it's a little bit of a cleaner edge also because I, I folded it in half. Like that. Okay. Now the next step is going to be along where I folded. I need to be able to cut out these little areas back here that I'm that are going to help these things pop forward. Okay, so I'm going to cut, uh, we'll go about right there and about right here. This is what's going to hold my tree. And then over here is about where it's going to hold the snowman. I'm going to have the snowman setting in the back, so I don't need to cut it so far up. And then if I want that smaller tree, I can also do it back there with that snowman. Okay, so this is what I did. Okay, I just cut right there, and I cut right there, and I cut right there. Okay. Now, when I open it up, I'm then going to take that and push it forward. Okay, so let me do that again. Let me come a little closer to the camera so you can see. Okay, you can see where I cut along the edge, right, like that. I'm going to bend it, and I'm going to push that out this way, okay? And you kind of have to work it a little bit, but it's going to come out like that. And then I'm going to fold that a little bit, give it like a little crease. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, and also with this one, okay? But I'm going to sit down and do it. Just so I have the table surface as a uh, little support for me. And then I will show you guys. So now everything is going to be like this. Okay. So we have these little, little, they look like kind of like little steps, little boxes, right? But that's what we're going to glue our stuff to on right here and these little cubes right here. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So now I can take my um, tree that I made and I can glue it into place. Right, so you can see I did it right there with that purple glue and put my tree right there. Now, I could actually lay this flat to glue them down as long as I um, know what it's going to do, okay, this way. So you don't want to put a whole bunch of glue back here on the back. It's just right there on these little box parts. Right, but you can lay it flat if that will help you. Okay, and I think it will help me, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my crazy little snowman I made, put a little glue right there, and I'll go ahead and glue that right there as well. A little snowman is going to lay like so, and then I have that other little tree. You know what? Let's use this one. I'll put some things on it later, but I kind of like this tree better. And again, you have to be kind of careful because you want to make sure that that doesn't actually glue down to the back side of the, the card. Which is what it is trying to do, actually.
See, I have to do this sitting down. I just cannot do it any other way. Some people just have their preference, the way they like to work, right? And that's my preference. I like to, to sit and use the surface to use pressure for the object. Okay, so press that down and then voila, we have our little card like that. But we're not finished because now what we want to do is put it inside this. Remember, we still have that other blue and that other blue is then going to allow us to have the outside of the card look nice and neat. Okay, so now we're going to glue that into place. Like so. Looks like I made my Christmas tree just a little bit too tall, but I think it'll be all right. And then I'm gluing this other part right here. And so now, voila, I've got my little card and I can write whatever I want to on it. Okay, so I know we're out of time, but thank you very much for being patient. And I look forward to seeing some of your cards. If you want to share with us, you can actually go to our website, which is lvllaredo.org, and you can post your pictures. Okay, so thanks you guys for joining me, and I look forward to um, having fun with you guys next Saturday. Take care. Bye-bye.